<laughs> I'm Tony, he's Mike, and we're here to do a quick and dirty review on 1983 83. High School USA. Why? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in mourning. Bo's going steady with Beth Franklin. And my life is ruined. Um, <laughs> what? Is this punishment? Like, are you still, are you mad at having to review an Elvis film? Is that what this is about? Actually, no, because again, you were more upset about Elvis than I was. <laughs> That's true. That's so, true. I don't know how that happened, but it happened. <laughs> Boz Lerman, you know how to, like, push buttons, buddy. <laughs> Big time. But no, um, I... I think it's like I was watching something. No, no, no. It was a conversation we're having about uh, rich kids versus poor kids or something like that. The, okay. Uh, it was used cars. Okay. We're yeah. talking about used cars. We're talking about you know uh, the scrappy underdog versus you know the the rich people on the other side. So sure. I was like, oh, High School USA is on Tubi. This <laughs> fits right into that. So here we are, High School USA, 1983. It was a made-for-TV movie, and, and in 1983 for. Yeah, for, for NBC. So this was 1983's equivalent of like a WB movie. With an all-star cast. Yes, literally. With, with those, yes. Yeah. No, no, no shit. Like every kid and like former shit. TV star yeah. was on NBC at that time. Whether it was like an actual shows or reruns or because you had Michael J. Fox, you know, who was on Family Ties. Yeah. Nancy McKeon. Who was then on uh, Facts of Life. Life? Dana Plato, who was in uh, Different strokes. strokes, and Todd Bridges. Todd Bridges also yep. in Different Strokes. Anthony Edwards, I don't think was on the show at that time, but he was an up and comer. Yeah. yeah, he would later do Revenge of the Nerds. Yes, um, which is funny because he goes from a, playing a rich jock douchebag to a nerd. Yep. just yep. a couple <laughs> years later. Where are they? I think they're talking about us. No way. Oh no. Crispin Glover. Crispin Glover is um, also in Back to the Future. Yeah, we're cool. So one of the two girls that was obsessed with getting the photo of Bo, mm -hmm. um, she was actually the middle sister on Gimme a Break. In oh, okay. In case you're trying yeah, yeah. to figure out who I'll, that I'll was. I'll throw her up there. So, I was trying to remember I recognized her from. Yeah, and then you've got you've got Gilligan and Marianne. You've yeah. got uh, you've got Wally Cleaver, and you've got Eddie Haskell. Oh, yeah. Um, I, like you'd have to like throw a rock pretty far to not hit somebody you don't recognize in yeah. this. I, I mean, <laughs> if you grew up in the '80s, if, if if you grew up after the '80s, you have no clue who the f these people are. <laughs> Short of Michael J. Fox and maybe Anthony Edwards. Um, and, 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 uh, uh, and Crispin Glover. Yeah, uh, yeah Crispin yeah, Glover, definitely. Yeah. There, okay, there was the dark-headed kid that was running around with uh, uh, Crispin Glover. And mm. I know that I've seen him in a bunch of movies. And normally they were like college, like hijink sort of films. No. He's a terrible actor and he has the same shtick in all of them. And yeah. I don't know why he was ever a thing but he's all over this and he's just as annoying throughout the entirety of it cars totaled arch you're a dead man oh no oh Cheer no up. at least we still got the girls girls he is um, he is well let's 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 break down into the plot real quick oh, um so you got Michael J. Fox, J.J. Manners, who's your 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 slacker, poor kid, whose dad's never around, stuff like that. And, and his mom is not around either. Yeah, yeah, yes. that's true. Yeah, there's like no no parents to be found anywhere. Um, he runs into uh, Beth, who's Nancy McKean in this one. Oh, well, I'm sorry. You got to show these lockers who's boss, you know? They kind of hit it off. Well, unfortunately for Michael J. Fox, Beth is dating Bo. Who is Anthony Edwards in this? Who is the, the alpha rich, yes. of, of the high school? Yeah, yeah, the, the entire school. Um, Your favorite type of character. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah. I, uh. You want to get the chrome? All right, there's the bell. Who's got my homework? This is so. so hang on, hang on. Let me, yeah. let me get this plot real quick. Go ahead, chill out. Right. So, so long story short, they they have several back and forth, and so. Um, JJ decides he's gonna sell this monster for all in a race. What are you gonna do about it? I'm gonna whip you. A week from today before the fall dance, a race. Me against you, one on one. So uh, they fix up, fix up Michael J. Fox's car. They race, what's his name's Porsche. JJ wins the day, <laughs> uh, wins the girl. Um, and and that, that, that's, that's kind of it. 
Yes. All right. Go ahead. Savage away. You, oh you've been my chopped God. out the bit. Okay. First off, this could have been 60 minutes. It did not need to be an hour and 40 or whatever it was. Number two, this is like, has Ferris Bueller been made at this point? Oh, hell no. no Ferris this, Bueller was until years later. Okay, well, not too many years later. Maybe four. 80, 86, 87? I, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, Any, yeah. Anyway, like, this is so saccharine bullshit. Like, like, and, it is and, made for TV. It, and it's so tropey. But it, even then... Again, this, made for TV. It's so cheesy. And oh, extremely. Extremely. Especially, like, you got the, the, the genius Otto who has a robot. Yes. I'm sorry. Teens don't make robots, period, oh, yeah. in any time, in uh, any way, shape, or form. That oh. shit don't happen. No, anybody with a 29 IQ can do it. Let's not forget Dana Plato's pivotal character, uh, who was basically there to have conversations so the characters could explain their motivations or what was going on with them at the moment. Yeah, she's there to, for gossip. Uh, can I call you back? I'm right in the middle of my homework. No, dear. You see, when I or Anne Marie or anyone else from our crowd calls, it's obviously extremely important. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. and then Crystal Bernard Shaw, who apparently, like... Well, she's just Crystal Bernard in this. Well, yeah, she... Well, they apparently froze her or something because she doesn't look any different in this than she looked in Wings, but she's supposed to be a high schooler in this. Uh, so it won't surprise me if you're all like, yeah, she was 30 when she got this role. <laughs> Hold that thought. Yes? Hi, Kira. It's Anne Marie. Anne Marie, I'm so glad you called. What are you wearing to Bo's party? Well, funny, funny thing, there's this movie coming out here soon called Teen Wolf, um, on, on some bullshit network because it used to be like a show. Yeah, MTV. But before it was a movie, and yeah, everybody in there looks like they're in their 30s. I'm sorry, there's no teen in that Teen Wolf, but anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the original <laughs> Teen Wolf had Michael J. Fox in it. Yes, it did. And it was then, like a year or two after this. Yeah, and then MTV did the series, and I don't know. It's got a bit of a cult following. I don't know if it's because it's good or bad or it what. It doesn't matter. We're but, getting off topic. Yeah, no. Anyway, but um, I will say this. You will get to see every Michael J. Foxism yes. in this that he did on Family Ties. And does this predate Family Ties? Or, no. Or is this like no, right at the beginning of Family like Ties? Right at the beginning, I'm okay. pretty sure. Because he's completely Alex. Yeah. You well, know. I mean, uh, Michael J. Fox, while he's a fine actor, doesn't really have a whole lot of range. He fits that Michael J. Fox yeah. thing. He, yeah. You know, it's like... It, it, I mean, he's Marty McFly here. You know, it's proto Marty McFly. Yeah. Whoa, this is heavy. Pretty much, pretty much. But like, none of the jokes are funny, and and all the situations are completely bullshit. Yeah. And and like the whole thing, like there's the blind Nazi teacher, and and I kind of actually like the blind Nazi he, teacher. It's kind of funny. He's got a German <laughs> Shepherd, and Anthony <laughs> Edwards decides that he's going to get revenge on JJ by sticking an uncooked steak in his backpack and the dog attacks him and JJ gets detention for that. Right. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> Damn it. Right, right, right. Man, relax, Thomas. He'll be dealt with, I can assure you, Dr. Hellman. I want him executed. There, yeah, there's, there's so many bullshit plots in this thing. Oh, and it's, it's funny. It's, it's super contrived. The, but the, again, it's a made-for-TV story. The key so. plot in this is that J.J., or I'm sorry, uh, uh, Anthony Edwards, is he's the son of the richest man in this town. Yeah. And they're putting together a grant for $10,000 for whatever teacher they chose in a free, all-expense-paid trip to Paris. Our uh, beloved Booster Club president, Bo Middleton Sr., has decided to offer a summer study grant to the teacher who best exemplifies the ideals of Excelsior Union High, as defined by Bo Middleton Jr., of course. And and so all the teachers are like bending over backwards to be in, in uh, Anthony Edwards' favor mm -hmm. because, you know, they really want to win so bad. And, and... Yeah. And you, got the, and you got the one teacher, it's like... I'm sorry, Miss D'Angelo, I can't be seen with you because uh, Bo Milton prefers wasps. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Well, I mean, you're, you're, you're kind of Italian. So? Well, Mr. Middleton tends to favor wasps. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you know what wasp is, white, Anglo-Saxon, Protestant. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, I was going to say. The lightest of the light. <laughs> yeah, they actually make a derogatory Italian joke in that one. Oh, you're too Italian looking. And she's like, well, you're Greek. And he covers her mouth yeah, up. Like, and don't tell like, anybody. <laughs> and am I supposed to find this 
funny? It's, it's, it's well, just... again, it's 1983. And I'm just going to say this, all right? She should have dumped his ass because he was punching so high over his weight class in that particular relationship. Yeah. She was milfy. He was dorky. Yes. And and then, yeah. like, for him to be all like, we got to go to a movie theater 60 miles away because I don't want any of the kids to see us. And then they go to the movie theater and all the kids are there. Mr. P. Someone's coming, girl. Ms. D. Hey, hey, everybody, Mr. Plaza's here with Ms. D'Angelo. And one of the kids, the, the kid that, that winds up in uh, uh, Heartbreak Ridge. Yeah. <laughs> and, all, and is also the uh, villain in Popcorn. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I'm just gonna... That's obscure, baby. I'm Toby. Or, or nearly Toby. You'll have to forgive the... Sloppy craftsmanship. Why? God. Why did we watch this? <laughs> so many movies, so little time, and then you're all like, I know High School the USA. USA. It's like, if there was That's a right. vendetta, I paid it. I paid it at this point. I mean, if you need blood, whatever it takes to never have to watch this kind of shit ever again, I, I, I'm willing. No I'm more just... shitty Elvis movies. <laughs> oh, oh, look, that wasn't my fault. <laughs> that was not my fault. So. What if it had been good? Yeah, anyways. What if it had been good? Then we would have got High School USA. We would have got something better. Oh, okay. So so no. this was a revenge. This not was a really. Vendetta. Not really. So. It just kind of worked out that All way. All right. So. Well, so, so what what made you... Uh, so we were talking about that. What what made you decide to pull the trigger and throw this into the queue? Uh, it was on Tubi. Again, <laughs> we were talking about, you know, the underdog versus the rich kid. Yeah. And this 100% encapsulate. This is, again, like you said, this is a crystallization of that trope and that thing you know that happened all through the 80s okay all you right. know so this is just a bad representation of it <laughs> so yes yeah, yeah. so w what did you think of this thing now that you've rewatched it through adult eyes oh it's fucking awful <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible movie <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll think it was something shit. But you know, it's a lot of stuff we watched that's a like complete dog shit. Uh, uh, this just happens to be a little bit worse than uh, most. Well, you know, so. where, where it missed its mark is it, you had all this talent. And it, it, seriously, there's, yeah, a, there's a just lot. A, this is a veritable sea of, of talent at that age. And they didn't use any of it. Mm -hmm. Um. You'd think when you land a cast like this that somebody would go, maybe we should give this script a little more polish. But, yeah. it, like, when did this air? It, I mean, 83, but, I mean, like, was this a sweeps week thing? or? Uh, I, I think in the fall, which kind of makes sense because then it's just an advertisement for all the stars that are in the shows that are coming uh, up. Because back in the day, all, all the new shows yeah. premiered, like, all the new seasons premiered in the fall. Yeah. So you had this movie coming out like right before the new season started to come out. So it's just advertisement for, hey, remember Michael J. Fox from, you know, Family Ties? Hey, remember Nancy McKean from Facts of Life and Different Strokes? Yeah. Here they all are. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, here's the new season's coming out. So <laughs> That makes sense. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Yeah, that was back in the day when it was half a year of new episodes, and then they would rerun that half, and then you would kick into the new season right after that. So yeah. things have changed quite a bit since then. But, yeah, they have. So. But, yeah. So that's that's it. I, I've gotten my anger. Not even anger. It's I, I don't know how to explain this. Ennui. Um, uh, confusion. Uh, that's yeah. I'm going with confusion on this one. I I don't know why we watched it, but we watched it. Um, I don't know why we're still talking about it. I don't know either. It's been 15 I, minutes. I'm purging it. I got look. I'm done. I'm good. So <laughs> well, it's about time. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> this could have been a five minute episode. <laughs> it ain't. So all right. Well, we will see you next time. Stay tuned. <laughs>
Good why? God. Why did we watch this? <laughs>